Yeah, if you do the, uh, get a team of eight, and then um, there's these uh, books you can also buy with seals that give you a higher percentage chance of getting a higher quality recruit every time you complete something that's like um, like a challenge log entry or different runs in the game that might uh, it'll say like um, recruit has shown up in the barracks go to the barracks to find out and you look at the paperwork on the table and it pulls up a card that shows uh, the recruit and um, you can either choose to sacrifice a current recruit and pick the new one or you can dismiss <laughs> it or postpone it what's nice is when you get recruits that have traits you definitely want to get the ones that have traits and some actually work together really really well they have had all kinds of traits. Traits that bring you more seals, traits that uh, may do more or higher success rates when they run with different classes. Um, but uh, it's nice to build a team where they all have traits. And then uh, you can also send four out at one time and train the others so everybody's getting the XP. You make it sound so violent. You can s you sacrifice the others if you bring somebody in. Yes. <laughs> yep. Sacrifice. Sacrificed. <laughs> There's, they're given to uh, what are they given to? They're given to Zodiac. <laughs> Rika is the lore guy, so I'm sure he could come up with a good thing. <laughs> what happens? Hundred <laughs> percent. Yep. So due due to their uh, hard work in the Maelstrom or the Grand Company of your choice, um, their ether has depleted, and therefore they need to be taken to the uh, Mother Crystal deep within the ether to be restored but when they do their life force is refreshed and reborn into a new recruit which may show up later on if you use that that one book that gives you a percentage chance and that my friends is the cycle of sacrifice and rebirth of the grand company that didn't take very long to come up with i'm proud <laughs> Drake, uh, don't don't start his lore button oh i could actually like turn that into a much longer tale and like talk about like all the details of the journey there they get they get to the uh the ether scope thing that goes down into the ether and at uh, labyrinthos but fortune alt stops you and says that you don't have clearance so you have to go on a long quest to earn his trust again in order to do such a thing but even then charlian has rules against sacrificing gc recruits Then when you get there, you feel reluctant because Heidelin wanted you to do things different in your journey. But instead, you're having to make a very hard 50-50 choice. It's like, do you do you sacrifice this person to the ether and hope they don't turn into a primal and come back to get you? <laughs> or does Heidelin's words ring in your mind, causing you to hesitate? Or do you get arrested by Charlion for going against their rules? Misuse of the of the uh, ether scope thing. I would probably get arrested. Well, that's the start of every Elder Scrolls game. <laughs> 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 and potentially another story. That's the start of almost every expansion. That'd be another expansion. In Elder Scrolls. <laughs> that's uh, the start of Heaven's Word almost. You're running from the law. As you're framed for the murder of a GC recruit, so this time you have Charlian assassins out to get you. And you have to escape to Tyrol and Dontrail, and that's how that begins. So, they don't know that we're over there. It's Aaronville stole a ship. I think I need to rewatch some cutscenes. It's a little bit different than I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So instead of a summer vacation, it's more of a summer hideaway. Then we join the Thieves Guild. Oh wait, wrong game. <laughs> no, more like the Dark Brotherhood than the Thieves Guild. Yeah, that makes more sense. You know you're playing too many games when they start bleeding together. <laughs> well, yep. the scene of dementia is kicking in hard. Final Fantasy Star Scrolls Wars 2. You've been working on that one, haven't you? No, I just came up with that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and so how long before the Final Fantasy lore has stormtroopers in it? Um, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh my god. 
So sorry. Oh my, I apologize publicly oh my, there, to all of you. There are my heart. <laughs> what two have you done? There are I'm two sorry. connections. There's two Star Wars connections. They're they're and they're they're they, they exist. They exist. <laughs> you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, there are please two check the number and try your call again. Don't forget that Disney owns Kingdom Hearts and Star Wars, and the fact that there's a new Star Wars canon novel that mentions a faraway planet where they <laughs> play a sport called Blitzball. And uh, when that I went viral, people were <laughs> people were comment commenting on it. Is it always me? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the devs didn't exactly deny it either and uh, the fact that uh, Return of the Jedi is actually shown in the trailer for Kingdom Hearts 4 you can see Endor with the leg of an ATST, and also the fact that Kingdom Hearts takes place in the pocket universe uh, outside of uh, the realm of light or within the realm of light but outside of Quadratum um, given the fact that Cloud was actually able to discover a void, a void portal to the realm of light uh, <laughs> basically echoes the fact that it is very possible to potentially potentially through the through the void portal and possibly visiting through the realm of light portal you could technically go to the universe that would connect to okay. Star Wars so Star Wars Galaxy exists somewhere else within the realm of light if it's if it's canon it would exist within the realm of light so that would actually be, make universal travel to that universe or to a world from it if we say we're going to Endor could technically appear as one of the sleeping worlds in Kingdom Hearts lore because of the way those are organized and technically if you follow the same path that some of the other characters from FF that followed there you could technically eventually run into a stormtrooper I love you <laughs> oh but there's so much more 